conserving the planet species and habitats and the goods and services they provide is central to sustainable development and the Millennium Development Goals. Wherever we live, whatever our nationality or culture, we are all ultimately connected to the web of life that covers our entire planet. Biodiversity is the variety of life on Earth. It has fed us, clothed us, and sheltered us for millennia. Our soil is enriched and regulated by microorganisms and insects. Forests filter our water, and medicine yet to be discovered lie hidden in ecosystems as diverse as the life found within them. Although we are surrounded by life in myriad forms, our knowledge is limited. Most species remain undiscovered and unnamed. Its variety is simply astonishing. Life has adapted to vastly different environments, from tropical rainforests to Arctic deserts, from island archipelagos towering mountain ranges. Life is everywhere. Yet what took hundreds of millions of years to evolve is vanishing in only a few generations. Biodiversity is not just this abstract concept uh, in halls of science. It's a it's, it's the living underpinning of our lives and we are all intimately and directly connected uh, to the, the services and the, and the resources that biodiversity supplies us in our lives. We, we are reliant on the web of biodiversity for our lives and I think this is going to be one of the great issues of our era and I think uh, in a hundred or two hundred years when lots of our geopolitical melodramas have uh, been forgotten. I actually think the world is going to judge this moment that we're in now very much on how we grappled with this issue, so it's exciting to be a part of it at the same time. The decade on biodiversity represents the most ambitious international effort ever to stem the tide of species loss and ecosystem destruction. In 2010, 193 member states of the Convention on Biological Diversity, as well as mayors, indigenous peoples, and civil society, met in Nagoya, Japan. They adopted a historic treaty on the access and benefit sharing of genetic resources and agreed to a global strategic plan with concrete biodiversity objectives. The Nagoya Summit was, uh, I think, a landmark event in the environmental movement and in the biodiversity family. Why? The strategic plan, which has been adopted, a 20 ambitious but realistic target to be achieved by 2020 on those by the whole international community. And the UN uh, General Assembly has endorsed this plan as the overarching framework, 10-year framework on biodiversity. It's the first time in the history of the UN that we have an overarching framework for 10 years to be achieved. The challenge, however, cannot be underestimated. Everywhere we look, we see species disappearing forever, perhaps a thousand times faster than the natural rate. 42% of amphibian species and 40% of bird species are declining in population while 23% of plant species are threatened. Because of overfishing, yields have been decreasing yearly, and about 14% of fish stocks have completely collapsed. We see entire ecosystems woven from the fabric of countless interconnected species severely damaged. And we see the tragic human cost of biodiversity loss. Hundreds of millions of people depend directly on coral ecosystems for their food and livelihoods, 
yet the reefs are bleached and dying. Although we are all affected by the loss of biodiversity, the poor are the most vulnerable since they often rely directly on nature's resources. Most alarmingly, we are approaching many ecological tipping points. Additional harm to ecosystems could lead to large, rapid, and irreversible changes. As a result of deforestation and climate change, the Amazon forest could suddenly shift to savanna. The direct causes of biodiversity loss are well known. Pollution, overexploitation, habitat loss, invasive species, and climate change. However, there are also underlying cultural, political, and economic forces. By undervaluing biodiversity, we overconsume depleting nature's precious resources without allowing them to recover and replenish. Large subsidies and weak regulations can encourage environmentally destructive behavior. It is not too late to act. What we do in the next 10 years is crucial. To avoid tipping points, we cannot wait. We must protect our natural world for the benefit and security of present and future generations. And it is essential for our food, it is essential for our medicine, it is essential for the air that we breathe, it's essential for the water that we drink. Without biodiversity, there can be no life on Earth. The economic value of biodiversity and its ecosystem services is enormous. Insects and birds provide pollination services for agriculture. Wetlands and forests sequester carbon, prevent erosion, and protect us from flooding. Agricultural diversity ensures against crop failures, preventing famine. Because of its pervasive importance, biodiversity should be integrated into all levels and sectors of government. Protecting biodiversity is essential to the success of international environmental efforts. Climate change is becoming the single greatest threat to biodiversity. Conversely, preventing deforestation and protecting biodiversity strengthens the resilience of ecosystems from the effects of warming and extreme weather. Desertification and land degradation begins with the loss of terrestrial biodiversity and soil organic matter. This threatens the food safety of many of the world's poorest people. Many food crops like potato, corn, sorghum, wheat and barley, which are now global staples originated from the dry lands. The wealth from our dry lands is disappearing fast and quietly. In our increasingly urbanized world, Cities will also play an indispensable role in protecting life on Earth. Yet, urban populations are often disconnected from nature. A recent survey found that many children could not identify a bee, mistaking it for a wasp or a fly, and that each new generation spends less time in nature. It is essential to engage youth if we are to reach our objectives. We must also reconnect to the deep spiritual and cultural relationship that all human traditions have to their land and to the life that it harbors. To catalyze individual action, we must build on the inherent awe and respect that humans have for nature. We must link action on biodiversity to the resulting personal satisfaction it gives us, the awe for nature that reverberates when we have done the right thing. We need lots of people to be ambassadors for biodiversity. We need lots of people to speak um, to this mission, not just scientists. We need artists and politicians and 
uh, businessmen and everybody to talk about the ways that what they do interconnect with this mission. In order to raise awareness and promote engagement, Jean Lemire and his team are sailing on a three-year round-the-world voyage to reveal the incredible beauty and value of biodiversity. With this new awareness, we can chart a new course. Achieving the objectives of the decade will require real changes in how we relate to nature. Not only are we able to make these changes, we must. We owe it to the world. We owe it to ourselves. Ultimately, we are all an integral part of the web of life. Protecting life on Earth is not only the responsibility of the government or the ministry or the agencies in charge of protection of the environment. Protecting biodiversity is the responsibility of each and every citizen on our planet. And it is for this reason that the International General Assembly has declared 2011-2020 as the United Nations Decade on Biodiversity so as to engage each and every citizen on our planet in protecting life on Earth for the benefit of present and future generations. So we look forward to working with the international community, the developing world, the developed world, uh, in order to ensure that the bioresources, which are under severe threat from a variety of sources, particularly climate change, are protected and are utilized in a sustainable manner. The coming decade can be a turning point in how humanity values and manages biodiversity. Together, we can build the foundations for a sustainable future.